after yesterday's inner dance session, it's it's like I realize now that doing cap and inner dance together, like very close to each other and very frequently, you need time and space for that. You need a safe container for that. You need like almost like a retreat center or something because I was doing it at home <laughs> and uh, while I was in my session, my partner, she came downstairs and she was looking at what was happening with me and she was, uh, she was concerned because she saw me trembling, making sounds, making gibberish sounds. Um, she saw me like, yeah, like there was a rewiring happening. She was afraid that there were like dark energies entering me or that I was opening myself up to dark entities. And she saw, she was looking at the phone because I was uh, I was on a video on a video call with the other participants and they all or mostly most of them laid still so she was like why are they laying still and he's moving so much right why is he so 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 active so she was talking with her friend and her friend was also like yeah this could be some dark thing plus also he's now vegetarian he doesn't eat meat so like he's not grounded so watch out and like she started to pray she was actually really afraid that like something uh, wrong was happening and <laughs> i was i was very very caught off guard by it but i realized the importance of, of a setting of a setting and also of communicating what's happening and taking the time and space for the process to unfold and for the integration to unfold she asked for my partner she doesn't understand what's happening and Looking back at my session, it was a very, very deep session. It was like if I if I can compare CAP to inner dance, it's like in CAP the Kundalini is working through all your chakra chakras and releasing and healing and adjusting and you're becoming more and more aligned. But with inner dance, it's like the whole spectrum of your consciousness, all the the layers are being like lightened up and it's like it's all brought into perspective you, you there's like a synchronicity of the whole thing of the whole perspective and <laughs> like there was also like a kind of fear after yesterday's session because like I, I, the, I had this image like I was lying on the ground and there was like these these ghoul fiends like opening my belly and just like eating out of my belly it was very unpleasant, unpleasant uh, sensation and, and also a very unpleasant visual to see. And then there was like this moment where there was like a vault inside of a darkness and the vault was open and like a dark figure came out. And like I felt the darkness that was inside of me, but that was like stored away. It was like inhabiting my body and I felt I can be really dangerous, but I have always ignored that part of myself. I have always put that part of me as like non-existent. I cannot be dangerous. I cannot be angry. I cannot be like that. And it was like, it's, it was revealing itself to be there. And I felt the power and the, the, the availability of it for when it is necessary. It was very, scary experience after that after the session it was like i felt different i felt very different and like after my partner like she was video videotaping me and she was showing it to her friends to her mother and they were all concerned that i was being possessed or there was something wrong with me so i started to just pray pray to god pray to jesus and i was just praying 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 and i felt Everything was calming down. The energies was cal were calming down, and I was I was just coming to the Zen place, and I realized it's just waves, waves of consciousness, just movements in consciousness. Nothing's really happening, right? In reality, nothing's really happening. In the mind, something's happening, but in reality, nothing's happening, right? Because what is it happening? Is it happening from here to here? That's a happening, or longer happening, or shorter happening. In reality, there's no happening. Nothing's happening. <laughs> there's just now. 
which is eternal and ever present. Mm. Hmm. Integration. Like from these experiences, I learned that I'm only gonna do sessions from now on with a facilitator or when I know that I'm alone at home because otherwise it just it can cause friction with, with the people surrounding because they don't understand hmm. and it was really surprising to me also like I never thought that there was like this this part of me that that was still there and now it was being unveiled also after like today I was able to be so honest to my partner about why I'm still with her I could just say it without any remorse without any guilt without any judgment without any any kind of confusion it was just so clear and in my heart I know I feel that I'm longing to be with that other person for my visions there's a there's a deep deep heart longing to be together to live together to to raise a family together and i don't understand how it works i don't understand what it is all about but i do learn from this experience and it is to feel what is real for me what is what the, what feels true for me and how can I live that? How can I embody that? How can I bring into reality what I really am and what I really want to be? It's a discovery. I always had this idea that, you know, you would reach this point where it's just, you're done, you're complete. It's like you're you reach the point of no return and you're done. You don't have to do anything or deal with anything. But it's like, no, 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 it's not like that. It's throughout your whole life, you're always b being unveiled or like almost you're receiving revelations about love, about God, about family, about work, about whatever. It's always a revelation, you're discovering it. It's being revealed to you and you go through it. Hmm. And when you really taste the experience of, of being alive in the moment, it feels so complete, right? Because honestly, I've been stuck in, in a pattern with, with my partner, which is so repetitive. And I can see how repetitive it is. I can see that there's hardly any life in it that there's only it's like a band-aid that's being stretched or like a like a uh, rubber band that's being stretched and it's just it's being stretched and stretched and stretched and we're just moving back and forth back and forth but not nothing's really uh, transforming or cr being created so yeah you do sessions at home make sure your partner gives you the time and space to do it in a safe environment and um, yeah take care of yourself and maybe don't mix don't mix it too much with, with cap because it can be a lot it can be a lot because your mind still has to catch up has to interpret everything has to contextualize everything it's like you cannot really stop it you can only let it happen.